Hello everyone and welcome back to another vlog. So today I have got a new MacBook Pro actually. So it's a 13 inch MacBook Pro, um, as I hope you can all see on there. And some of you eagle eyed might notice at the bottom that it says Apple certified refurbished. And that is because currently they are very low on stocks and um, it would have taken about a month for me to order a, another MacBook Pro 13 inch and for it to arrive. And currently my 15 inch MacBook Pro is broke. So I have no laptop. So I watched a few reviews online and uh, made the decision to go for Apple refurbished. Now, obviously it doesn't look good then I will return it. So I'll tell you about the specs I've got. So on the back, I went for the standard 128 gig, eight gigabyte of RAM, 1.4 uh, space gray model. So I went for that because I thought I would just see how it went. And there was actually one online that I almost went for, which was the higher end version with 16 gig of RAM and 512 gigabyte of SSD. So how much did I pay for this? I paid £1,099, which I don't know how much is in dollars, probably $1,350, dollars $1,400. So still not a cheap laptop. Um, however, the other one that I nearly bought was £1,650. So it was a little bit more expensive. So, uh, so I'd just trial run it uh, with this cheaper one and see how it went. So I will uh, open it today with you guys and uh, hopefully you can uh, see what Apple's refurbished uh, MacBooks are like. So here goes. I will pull the tab as you can see along here. It's pretty satisfying as I haven't received a new MacBook Pro since 2012 uh, when I got my last one. So there we go. Let's get rid of the plastic. Hopefully I won't see that. Uh, I know the lighting's not amazing, um, but it's okay. So just take the cover off. Is it wanting to come off? Doing that, that uh, thing. Oh, it's coming, it's coming, it's coming. Yes, okay. So, I will try and uh, get it with you guys without breaking it. So, this is the 13 inch MacBook Pro Space Gray. So, I think certified new fit refurbished, correct me if I'm wrong. Comes with new cables, so a cable there, USB C charging plug, charging port, which is how many watts is it? No, I'm not sure. I think it's about 30 watts, 40 watts. Doesn't say. Well it might say, but I can't read it through the plastic. Anyway. Let me take the plastic off and I'm going to check to see if there are any little faults. So looks in pretty pretty immaculate condition to me apart from my fingerprints I can't see any uh, anything that's wrong with this so here it is oh it feels so much nicer hold on so I'm gonna open it up now and hopefully it's turn on Remove the plastic. 
Yeah, it's turned on. I will come back to you in a minute when it is all set up. Hello everyone, so I was just setting it up and something I noticed straight away, which was that the power brick, where is it, only came with a short plug. Now I was surprising, I don't know if all my book pros now come just come with a short plug or not. But mine certainly came with a long plug eight years ago, so I'm actually going to utilize the long plug from that for this. Um, but something now I thought I would point out, I'm not sure if anyone in the comments could maybe say if uh, they found the same or they do get a long cable with the, their new MacBook Pro, I don't know. Also, something I forgot to say at the start, which was if you like this video, please like and subscribe. I know recently, as I said in my previous video, I would do videos more frequently, uh, but I just got caught up in the last six months. So I'm hoping moving forward, I can do this sort of thing more regularly. So yes, I'm gonna plug it in. And then I will catch everyone in a minute once this is finally set up. Okay, so now I'm going to see what the CPU of this new device is. So I'll run it and I think I can remember what my old MacBook score was. And I'm hoping for a significant or 50% increase on that. So my old one was a quad core i7 but from 2012, uh, it had 16 gig of RAM. Um, it was quite an old processor though, compared to the one at the moment. So let's wait and see what this one gives. As I speed this bit up, you can probably tell that the fans get quite noisy. There's only one fan in this model, two in the higher end 13 inch. However, this little one can make quite a little racket. Three thousand one hundred and eighty-six. It's okay. So they were my first impressions of my new MacBook Pro. I will be doing a later video where I'll do a much more in-depth analysis of what I think. Am I going to keep it? And uh, yeah, stay tuned. So hopefully everyone's enjoyed this video. And once again, if you would like to subscribe, please do give any comments or recommendations of things I would do differently as I'm still very new to this YouTube uh, videoing. And yeah, stay tuned.